gay house by mud. This is not another nice. Do not girl, listen man. to this girl. She's just a mad color girl. <laughs> nice. A girl who left Canada for oh, the I US. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl in moonlight or dinner catchy. And if it's your first time, you know, having to come across my video on YouTube, you're welcome. And do not forget to like most of my videos, scroll down, watch my videos, like, subscribe. It's possible that you could share my videos as well. So on today's YouTube video, I will be talking about some, you know, little not very very important issues though but like some very little questions that some people might be having to ask we single ladies yeah let me use that word for single girls if you're single come and keep your hands up <laughs> okay so i want to interview a friend of mine not really a friend from my youtube channel i just met her and you know having to talk to her about a lot of things she has been in the uk for for like five years or six years and you know we just have to i want to like ask her a few questions about her lifestyle here in the uk how she's finding the uk if it's better off than the way it was in nigeria because you know i've just been talking about my experience in the uk i really want to get to find out somebody somebody else you know experience and you know ask her critical questions that we would like to know about her experience in the uk also we'll be talking about few relationship issues like having to you know how lonely uk is and if it's possible to get like a relationship here be able to build one not just getting having to build a relationship you know the experience so far because i don't want to be just about myself so i want somebody else's opinion about the whole thing so you guys should stay tuned do not forget to subscribe to my channel you're welcome thank you hi guys so i have my my youtube and instagram friend here and i would like her to introduce herself to us and then we'll ask her some possible questions i've already written down here you're here for us <laughs> <laughs> some possible questions i've written down here for her so i want to ask her some like questions like you know a few questions that have been bothering me i don't know if it's also bothering my fans yeah, as well sure, yeah. yeah so um can you please introduce yourself to me and to my youtube fans as well Hello everyone, my name is Patty and I'm a student here in the UK okay. studying supply chain management. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so um Patty, you're welcome to my channel. Thank like you. having to join me today. I really do appreciate it, okay. you know, honoring my invitation and all. So first of all, um how long have you been in the UK and how are you finding it here in the UK? Okay, um on and off I've been let me just say like I started. I did my undergraduate um, program here in the UK from okay. 2013 to 2016, mm -hmm. and after then I went back to Nigeria and worked a bit in Nigeria, and now I'm back for my master's degree program. Okay, so um, like you just mentioned, now uh, you said you went back to Nigeria after your undergraduate. That means you did your undergraduate here yeah, in the UK. Correct. So that means you've been in the UK for quite like. Cause I saw you yeah. like you've been here for like quite a long yeah. year. So um, why did you go back to Nigeria? Is it like a personal decision or there was something? What what exactly happened that made you to go back to Nigeria? Um, I wouldn't say it's a personal decision. If I had the chance to maybe stay back then, I would have. But you know, now and then is different. You know, like mm -hmm. then we didn't have like the chance to like stay back and have like a two years postgraduate visa and mm -hmm. all this thing. so the best decision then for me yeah. was to go back like other i know some people that stayed back did one or two things i don't yeah. really know but i had to go back and i was opportune to go back to nigeria and i got a very nice job okay and i had to like work and save up a bit before i came back here. and then she's back to the uk again yeah. <laughs> so um how have you been finding it in the uk <laughs> like previous yeah. the previous year you were here and then now that you came back now you're doing your master's and yeah. you did your undergraduate here in the uk as well so how are you finding the experience like do you like it here in the uk or you prefer it back home you prefer, like this country like if if someone tells you about this country you just feel like they don't want you to come or they want your progress so it's good for everyone to come and have an experience of this place yeah. but it's not easy i can tell you that well one good thing is that if you're focused and dedicated and you know what you want to achieve yeah you'll be fine but 
currently it's not it's not easy like it's not that bad for me but i haven't gotten to the point i want to get to that's yeah. all i can say but it's not it's not that bad so like can you tell us like maybe three major challenges that you literally you're facing or you faced when you just came into the uk like just mm -hmm. like the three major ones that you were like oh god i made you to say oh my god why did i come here or should i go back to nigeria see i might be petty but food hey <laughs> food <laughs> it's not easy like you can it can never be like nigeria like, like nigeria sorry like it can never be like that even if like the, the african shops yeah you can get but this is food that so expensive yeah and to make them it might not even be as nice as i'm not a good yeah, cook i don't like but it can't be as nice as yeah as it used to be then secondly like the boredom like you can have everything in this country and you still feel like something is missing because it's not it's not like home yeah. and thirdly like it's um just to be able to live the idea of navigating through life yeah, it can be challenging sometimes you feel like you're getting into like oh yes i'm getting and sometimes like what am i even doing you're starting all over again so yeah that kind of feeling sometimes okay so now let's get into into it now <laughs> <laughs> so um okay. i want to ask for your permission are you going to like be brutally honest with us because i want to ask you like personal yeah. questions that might me, I'm I very want honest, to. but I don't want anyone to get offended by what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> disclaimer, everything I'm saying here is my own opinion. I'm not okay. saying that's how it is here. Like, my own experience and everything. So I'm just going to put this out there because okay. some people might, like, start acting based on what I'm saying. Yeah. It's so my it's opinion. just personal. Yeah, personal yeah, that's what I'm what I'm, yeah, personal yeah, opinion, want, my experience, want, other yeah. people and everything. Yeah, so, yeah. so I want you to be very honest yeah. with us. Like, your experience. Mm. We're not talking about every or any other person experience. Yeah. She's going to tell us based on what she has experienced. Right? What I've heard, what I've what, known. Yeah, people what I she, know. Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, exactly. So. so now, the first question I want to ask you is, um all this why before you came into the uk were you in a relationship were you single or first of all were you single or were you in a relationship before you came into the uk um on and off i was in a relation, relationship out and in, in and out but like coming here i'm currently single oh you were single when you came yeah so um what you mentioned before that uk can be very lonely right yeah so all the while that you've been in the uk how are you finding it in the relationship aspect what do you think about relationship or having to build a relationship here in the uk see love is a beautiful thing but it's mm. really hard yeah it's really hard to like find you know that niger relationship it's hard because yeah like when you meet someone your expectations are not even what you're expecting anymore but you know like i don't know like you know like like ninja like if you if you speak yeah, English, you want uh, yeah, to okay me i'm, I'm like, 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 nigerian you know, like, so, i'm not speaking english oh you're but... from Budako. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice yeah the Budako girl so if you speak pg yeah 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 i mean like, you'll be nigerian you, girls, you know like yeah. you might have like international no 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 no, like, no 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 they will trust yeah. oh well, if you use translation like well, like you know like in nigeria like you know, people we so call it toast. People will toast you. You be doing shakara. Baby, I don't like this one. I don't like this one. Yeah. You have options to choose. Yeah. But yeah, you will doubting your fine girlness. If that's where you are, you will like, <laughs> I'm not even still that fine anymore. Like, yeah. You look fine. Like, let me just give you an instant. One day, like, I was walking like down my street. I was looking mm. very nice. Me, I know, I was looking very nice. I was. I was oh, nice. Oh, I, I was walking. Cause you're passing. Nobody even said you. Nobody oh. said you. Oh, so um, what she's trying to say that if you're in the UK here, yeah, whether you be fine girl yeah, or you don't be fine girl, yeah, they know they toast you. Like they they stop you, toast you, say yeah, fine, fine girl, yeah. give me your See, number. I feel like the problem was that is that it's not like you're not fine, but like you just they're just scared to approach. You know, like okay. this country about or they'll sue you for every small yeah, thing. Yeah, they're, like, they're very, very careful. They're very careful. They don't want to get in trouble. That's and deep down from our hearts, we yes. want me guy to stop. Yes, so me, they they to stop. Stop. But then, like, it's hard. Then if you go on the dating site, yeah. you meet, like, useless guys, like, you know, from they the just want to yeah, they want, fling and then... From the people will tell you that, me, I don't want any serious to just for fun. Like, that's not what we're looking for at this point. Like, okay, you understand? Um, yeah. Like you just mentioned now, yeah. you know, in Nigeria, what we know is, as Nigerians, we be hot, you know, high yes. class girls. We literally don't go on dating sites in Nigeria. If you if you go on dating sites in Nigeria, it's basically like you're a girl or yeah. you're a hookup. Mm. 
dating site is something that it, they, they, they target like if you're on a dating site in Nigeria, yeah. you're in two guns, you don't even hook up. But here in the UK, dating site is literally how you meet people. Yeah, it's not because right. we all know that you can't meet somebody face to face on the road. Yeah. They're not going to toast you, they're not going to touch you. It's only in rare occasions, like very, very rare occasions. Maybe like, in the club. And most times, some guys in the club say, but not that own. serious. Like, they don't want, they just. Feel some like, guys yeah. even have wives in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. Some guys have serious girlfriends in Nigeria. And now the funny thing is, even if you're not in Nigeria now, you might be feeling like ah ah. In the UK, when you travel to the UK, now there you go meet husbands. So that's, so that's yeah, the yeah. problem. We have you know the whole funny thing. I feel like uh, even like we amongst black is not that hard. Like like I've had like one or two black guys come to me before to like say hello okay. but see these white people <laughs> they will not and they will like you they'll be staring at you but to yeah. come and talk to you like yeah. that I, don't, I feel like they're scared they don't they feel because like they'll of, get you reject them yeah. i don't know i don't want to make it for them but like it's really hard so those of us that will just say oh when i come to i beg you break up with your boyfriend yeah. person that is there for you you break up with him and come yeah. here and think that just hold that word tight because <laughs> Nice, so the relationship has been really hard for you like you yeah. don't want to find anybody I'm, or like, no, don't want to tell no, no, us. No, obviously like you see how like one or two but like you know what we, what we want like that person that one person that yeah. okay, this is my boyfriend it's hard it's easier for some people but me personally like i've not really like met met like someone like that it's yeah. not easy yeah okay so now let's let's like really go into details yeah mm -hmm. so if for instance now as she's just mentioned that having to see somebody it's quite hard in relationships mm -hmm. are you trying to tell us now that all the while that you've been in the uk yeah. you've not been able to like meet somebody or be in a relationship that you feel that yeah it's been serious or they don't break your heart before have you been heartbroken mm. before what what really happened tell us the experience okay like i've dated some like when i was doing my undergraduate days yeah i've dated someone obviously he's a, he's a nigerian yeah it's that was like one of my longest relationship and mm -hmm. it didn't work out like but we're still friends, like we, we broke up and make Oh, you did break up, be friends with your ex. Yeah. Oh, whenever. Me, I'm, I'm trying, like, I, 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 I see the point, like, yeah. I see the point, like, that's blaming those. Me, I will not say, nothing yeah. happened, like, it didn't just work, it didn't just work. So, okay. since then, that's been on and off, on and off. But in this country, relationship, it's, it's easier to, to meet someone in Nigeria. In Nigeria. I know a lot of people like, hey, not in Nigeria, but me, me personally, I feel like I, I have luck meeting guys in Nigeria than. Yeah. And and most times the guys in the UK or the um most guys in the UK they always there's a statement that I saw that I used to watch on YouTube that every girl that is coming into a relationship have something in yeah, mind to exactly. gain from the guy. Uh -huh. So what exactly are they having to gain? Is it that they want to be making more taking more money from the guy or it's, they feel like they need somebody that maybe is already having a stay here? Okay, let me just say one thing. Funny thing about the relationship in this country is you know that feeling that okay, your relationship this person will like take care of you. Blah, blah, blah. No, it's not like that though. Mm -hmm. Enter a relationship with your money. Nobody's going to help <laughs> you. Nobody will feed you. Nobody will take you on vacation. Oh, once you get it, it's once Even in a while. Even the Nigerian guys, because we know that Nigerian, Nigerian guys, guys will take care of. Thing, yes. Yes. The funny thing about people. Nigerians in this country now they've had that mentality. Like, yeah. I, why would I go on a date? I'm in my house. You invited me for a date. I'll go on a date after eating. You tell me to pay. Like, why? It's, it's but you tell you to pay yes, for no, it. you pay for your for your food. It's called Dutch. You go Dutch. You you split the bill. Pay. Yeah. But in Nigeria, that can never happen. happen. That can never. So happen. is it that is it that it's a bad thing or is it like? Let me let me get the question. Let me get yeah. put the question right. Yeah. yeah. Are you trying to say that if probably to a guy and a girl goes out on a date and the girl is having to pay for her bills and the guy is paying for his own bills, it's a bad thing that for the guy or it's just, is it just is the mentality that we ladies feel so entitled to you know See, not pay for our africans we're africans let's just call it spade, spade. it's not about being a gold digger it's not you're not digging any gold but not what the way we grew up how we understand yeah, your mom, the your dad yeah. have to take if care of your someone you, invites yeah. you out mm -hmm. the person is paying this country is so funny that if someone invites you for a party party or carry your drink go are you serious? They're not buying you, they're not buying you drink, drinks for you. You go to a house party, you carry your bottle of vodka, you carry your bottle of coke. Anything you want to drink in that party, carry it there. In the UK? Yes, yeah. in the UK. 
Unlike Niger Nigeria, people do party, just dress and just your work is just to show up and eat and drink. There, yeah. you carry your, you might get food, food, but that your drink, you carry your drink. house party, you carry your drink there. So they have this mentality in this country. It's normal for them. So we have so much to talk about, so so much to talk about, but we we'll have to come back for part two or episode two <laughs> yeah so because we have a lot i have so much questions to ask yeah. party not just party a lot of people so i want to you know keep having to drop yeah. we don't we don't want the videos to be yeah, jam-packed and have it to just talk about you, everything. Yeah. Very so you guys should stay tuned we have to come back for episode two or part two thank you so much party for joining for this particular me. video and we would have to drop another one for you guys so you guys should stay tuned do not forget to subscribe to my channel do not forget to you know share the video and then drop what you think your opinion really matters to me yeah. a lot whatever you think if you feel like maybe we are not going on the right direction or we are not our own observation or what we think is totally different do not you know hesitate to drop your own videos thank you for staying in staying and <laughs> thank you for actually watching the videos see you guys in our next videos bye <laughs>